What's the deal, baby? I didn't know. Big Boss, K Po here to talk to this boxing. So, Real Marlo TV made a video kind of talk about this already. Um, I just got off watching the live manager Marty. Um, they talked about this already as well. Um, it's about L. Spence. You know, that million dollar bet that they made when, you know, they was in Oklahoma City that, that time, a couple of years back. Well, Earl had, you know, he said that bet is off because he had to give that money to Terrence in order to get this fight made. So Terrence already got that money, right? So let's get this straight. Earl had to give up money. Errol had to wait to get this dude in the ring. Right? Errol for years have heard things from Terrence Crawford and his camp that were that were personal. You know, calling him out his name, saying he was ducking, then come back and say he's not ducking. Just saying all type of personal stuff, calling him gay, all type of stuff. I'm telling you right now, Terrence Crawford going to the hospital. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, man. I look, and I, I'm just saying, like, I ain't, I'm picking L. Spitz to win this fight. You know what I mean? Um, I broke it down. Go watch my other videos, stylistically, right? This is not a one of those like. Fan favorite. I won't say fan favorite. This is not going to be a boxing breakdown video. This is going to be a my opinion. I'm looking at Errol had to get his man money. Errol had to wait on dude. You know, Errol had to get out his comfort zone, call dude, talk to him. But going to the hospital, man. <laughs> That's what it is, man. You know, uh, that's just in my opinion. You know, like I say, man, I see something different in Errol. It's like he he remembering that. You know what I mean? Bud looking at what people saying, and he using that as motivation. So he looking at, he probably got somebody watching my videos. He probably got somebody watching, you know, so he using that because on his Instagram, he got video or, or, or like a little reel where it's people comments all around his head. And he, he kind of using that as a, a method to be like, I see what y'all saying. But Errol is looking at what they saying. He looking at what Bo Mack said. When Bo Mack said that L. Spence and Jamal Charlo fight are like, you know, and that Terrence Crawford gonna beat the S word out of Errol Spence. He's looking at how uh, Bud said, Errol, where your three or four? You know, I'm trying not to cuss. Where you at? He looking at Bernie, when Bernie called Errol Spence a B word. He looking at all that stuff. Now granted, if they would've just kept it boxing, it's different, you know? It's different when you just sit there and say, hey, man, I feel like I'm a dominator guy, right? I feel like I have the better skill. I punch harder. I'm more athletic. I'm more skillful. That's different. You know what I mean? But when you sit there and you personally attack uh, your opponent, you know what I mean? Like, they've gotten personal. Even Terrence poked a little jab at Arrow like at the press conference. Like, I don't drink, Right? So these are the things that they doing. I'm telling you. I'm I, I'm just saying. Win, lose, or draw. Blood going to the hospital. Something going to be broke. I'm telling you this. Something is going to be broke on that man. He's not coming out unscathed. Right? We all know who Bud Crawford is. He's a, he's, a, he's a talented fighter. He has a lot of skill. He just hasn't fought top competition and he has a bunch of excuses why he has a fought top competition you know but we're not gonna get in all that all i'm gonna say is this the, you know we got the fight the fight is here which bill crawford said that the fight is here it doesn't matter you know about the past the fight is here 
I'm telling you right now. Bud going to the hospital. That's what it is. I got to keep saying it. He's going to the hospital, bro, after this fight. He may win, right? Like, y'all yeah, know me. People who follow my channel, go look at my breakdown of this fight, right? I did a breakdown of this fight. I'm going to do probably do one more. Um, But go look at my breakdown. Go look at why I'm picking L. Spence. I'm not picking L. Spence just to be, oh, because I'm picking L. Spence. No, I'm picking L. Spence because of the style matchup. Styles make fights. And I believe that L. Spence is the more fundamentally sound fighter. So, and I've seen L. Spence at his top competition. You know what I mean? So, um, I think that it's going to be a competitive fight. But I think L. Spence is going to be able to prevail. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. Um, but I did say don't be shocked if it's one-sided. I did say that. So... And also the reason why I'm picking him is because I know Terrence Crawford. I know his mentality. Terrence Crawford want to fight. And I'm going to drop a separate video about that. He want to fight, bro. I'm going to drop a separate video called The Mentality of Terrence Crawford. I think I did one before. I'm going to do it again. He wants to fight, bro. He's not... Look, he ain't Floyd. He ain't slick. He ain't doing nothing. He, he's not like that, bro. And I don't mean like he not like that like he trash. I mean he not like that like he's not slick. You know, y'all talking about, oh, he's the least hit welterweight. Yeah, I'll be the least hit if I'm fighting cab drivers. Yeah, I'll be the least hit. But when you fight another elite fighter, they touching you. That's just what it is. You getting touched, you know. And he was getting touched. See, I, I y'all looking at numbers, right? It's kind of like how the NBA is going. The NBA is going to analytics. They're using numbers and analytics to create teams, right? You and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, right? You can't. And what I'm saying is, you can't always believe the numbers. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at him fight. I'm looking at his fights. I'm looking at Mean Machine touching him over and over again. And after the fight, his eyes puffy. I'm looking at him getting dropped by Mean Machine. I'm looking at him get touched by Ebenezer in the overhand right. I'm looking at, man, I'm looking at all this stuff. Kel Brook killing him with the jab. Puffed his eye with a jab. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said before, I'm looking at him getting touched by Sean Porter. Him losing rounds to Sean Porter. Like, these are the things that I'm talking about, right? But, you know, they the, the Bud Buddies don't want to discuss these things. And it's not personal for me. It's not personal. I'm not sitting here like hoping and wishing Bud Crawford lose. I, I, I'm picking Earl because it's style matchup. If Bud Crawford lose, he's going to get the same credit that or same reaction that I would give Earl, which would be congratulations, Earl Spence. He did what I knew he would do. Bud Crawford win. Congratulations, Bud Crawford. You proved and signed, sealed, and delivered who you are. That's what it is. Earl is more of just like com a completion thing. Bud is more of proving what he really is. So that that's just what it is. That's to me the potatoes of this situation, in my opinion. But... Anywhere it go... Bud going to the hospital. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Bud's gone.